This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Ooh, got a kiss before he dies. See you soon. Then he accidentally shoots Ash with a shotgun, and that's the end of that. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. All right, so some sort of uh, mountain so, curse is in how effect. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No. Slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. Then it can kill them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. I don't know if there's, like, anything around here. Of course he'll stop and... Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable? Or, I mean, can you figure out what they're going to do? to some patterns, like any animal, or human. Well, like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Probably because they can see better at night. The, uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they would be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. See you if you're standing still. Looks like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out unless you have no other choice. Well, as I thought, Josh was either dead or gone. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you a mobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs. One piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. Well, someone's gonna die in a really fucked up way, I imagine. Hmm. Well, I wonder if there's any clues in here we can find. Or I'll just die trying to look for stuff. I don't know why they came out here in the first place. Like, I guess they were pissed off at Josh, but they didn't want him to die, regardless of the situation they put, or he put them in. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Here's the fake body. It's not a clue either. I hope the Wendigo's in here so it kills me. I don't know, that raises even more questions. Ah, forget it. If anyone resorts to cannibalism on the mountain, then he said something about the curse. So that means that the... The curse was probably started by the miners who got trapped. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> oh, well, here we go. Run. Go. Now. Now. Here he is. God damn. Look right out there. Gotta get out of here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Of course this guy dies. Of course. 
What the fuck? Well, it slowed him down. I wouldn't be surprised if this was actually Hannah. I 100% I would not be surprised if this, like, monster thing is actually Hannah. Oh, what the fuck? Thank God it slows down. Because he talked about the curse, and if anyone resorts to cannibalism, then, you know, the curse is in full swing. Oh, good. Now it's in front of me. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hopefully some people will come out and help me if I shot that. Oh my god, it's behind me now. Great. He's taking that body away. Oh, it's Josh. That was Josh. That wasn't uh, our flamethrower friend. That was actually Josh. Oh my God, guys, thank God. What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top? That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Or he could wait until dawn. And what is all that? It's no, okay. That old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There'd been a cave in, in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there'd been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody'd been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. It's nothing, oh no, it just, it, oh no, it bit no, me no. and... It bit you? What bit you? The, the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really, it's not a big deal. You okay? I knew she got bit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really, it's, it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you... You could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. 
it happens. If it bit you, you're gonna turn into one and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily, you can't stay here. <laughs> Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my God, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. God damn, everyone is... Mike, calm down. Everyone is super you're, tense here. You're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. No. Not for us. Don't, don't do that! I'm really sorry. Oh man, we can kill her! We can kill her or do nothing. I'm gonna do nothing. Fuck, I can't do this. I'm not gonna kill her. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. I like how he just leaves the gun there. That's probably pretty traumatizing for Emily. Was Ash gonna go pick up the gun and shoot her now? Like, what is going on here? Or is she mad at Chris for sitting next to Sam? I thought that that he was gonna help us. With the flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Oh, what do we got here? A journal found cannibalism. So. That was a lot of like story there. Fuck! I wasn't done reading that. I don't know why I went to like a random scene. So it seemed like they were under the impression that if she got bit, she would turn. But I was under the impression that if a person ate another person, then that's when the curse would take effect. I didn't think that if a Wendigo bit someone that they would turn. I didn't think it was like zombie rules. I just thought it was, you know, curse rules. You eat another person and that's when the curse shows up or maybe that's when the Wendigo comes out. I don't know what the fuck is going Well, let's read this. Hold on. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words or it shall be your death. Uh, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. I wish this would like stop stop moving the wendigo the wendigo grows or sh i think that's grows the wendigo grows out of cannibalism when a human is desperate and craves food trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms when he has eaten nothing for many days the wendigo spirit will begin to possess him even the strongest man is weak to it he will kill without remorse often those companions who have traveled with him he will eat the flesh raw from the corpses i have seen this happen many years ago craving for flesh that cannot be sated Sated? That would be like satiated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like bangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled that... Pulled taut. I wish I could read the rest of this. Pulled taut across the bones. Stronger than human skin looks like it's crossed out. So it looks like... It looks like if someone eats another person... Then the Wendigo spirit possesses them... And then this Wendigo will now often eat those that it once knew, if I'm reading that correctly. Which means that my theory that Hannah ate Beth actually has some weight to it. Because then Hannah, who survived the fall, ate Beth, who may not have survived the fall. And even if she did, maybe she was too fucked up to really do anything. Hannah ate Beth. The Wendigo spirit possesses Hannah. Hannah is the Wendigo that's trying to kill us. 
terrifying.